Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Hello there. Hello, hello, guys. So thanks, everybody, for joining. I'm super glad to see you today. So, hi, TGIF. Thanks, God, it's Friday. ¿Cómo les está yendo en su viernes? How is your Friday going? Todo bien? Everything good? Yes, all fine. Yeah. Fine? Okay. Great, great, great. Sounds amazing. Especially si van a descansar, you know, mañana. So that sounds just fine. So, hi, Brenda. <laughs> Thank you so much for connecting. Hi, Me imagino que va de camino a su casa. I guess you're on yeah. your way. Great. So thank you, ladies, enormemente for being there. Um, Selena, gracias. Yo sé que tienes problemas de inter. Richard, good evening. Hello. Hi, Ignacio. Hello, Danny. Hello. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm great. I'm doing just fine. Moses, good evening. Clary, Norbert, Hello. Jocelyn, Jackie, Barbara, Jackie. What's up? <laughs> Bye, Lupe. Um, who else is missing? All right. So thanks everybody. Gracias por acompañarnos to our session, right? To our second session of this week of in. Perdón, this intermediate one. Creo que me emocioné. Yes. <laughs> I got excited. <laughs> oh, I didn't pay attention. I was excited from since yesterday. <laughs> okay, not guys. So yes, it's basic. <laughs> Pero un pasito más. So you're like one step. Um, you know, uh, very closer to this. Okay, everybody. So um, today we are going to continue working with unit number one. El día de ayer revisamos la preguntita de what are your skills, what are your strengths. Teníamos por ahí como una tarea adicional. Sobre algunos se salvaron. <laughs> Some of you were good, but in general most of you had a homework, right? La idea era practicarlo para que agarraran un poquito de fluidez. Así que we are going to listen to you in some minutes. Today, continuamos con ese tema, pero agregamos más preguntas. We are going to add more questions. Um, to get familiar with the interviews, okay. Vamos de la más fácil a la más difícil, etc. <laughs> okay, pero antes de iniciar, before getting started, before working with everything, eh, voy a tomar asistencia. Let me go ahead and take attendance. And, doo -doo -doo. and then we can, you know, get started. Deme un segundito aquí. Give me just a second. en agosto ok, solamente me regalan confirmación, please let me uh, have confirmation and Ana de me está por acá Todavía no creo. Eh, Brian. Brian, Brian. Ana Delmi es mute. Oh, okay. Hello. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Ahí está. Thank you. So, Brian, todavía no. Eh, Danny. Veo el nombre de Dani, pero no veo a Dani. Mm. Danis. Present. Thank you. Dolores. You. Eduardo. Eduardo. Guadalupe. Present, Miss. Thank you. Eh, Guadalupe. Jackie. Present, Miss. Thank you, Jackie. Me alegra verla. Happy to see you. <laughs> yes, Alex. Present. Gracias, Miss. Thank you so much. Eh, Ignacio. Present. Gracias. Norbert. Present, sir. Thank you. I'm sorry. Uh, I want to sneeze. Eh, oh. Marvin Bonilla. 
Alex todavía no. Eh, Marvin, Marvin, Marvin López. Lo vi por ahí, Marvin. Hi, teacher. Eh, I am here. Present. Yeah. Respondiendo a su pregunta, Marvin, no, no se tiene que poner hoy antes. Con su nombre está súper bien. That's good. Ok, teacher. Eh, Clary. Bien, Clary, ve la segunda. Muy bien, teacher. Hi, hi, Brian. Good evening. Hi. Thank you. Thanks for joining. Uh, Moses, gracias. Eh, well, Clary, creo que sí la ves un segundito. Eh, Nelson, okay. Pedrina, present, present teacher. Gracias, Pedrina. The name, present, present, present. Gracias, thank you, Richard. Present teacher. Thank you, and Mabel. Eh, Brenda. Present. Thank you. Uh, Carlos. Charlie. Charlie. Hello, present. Mm -hmm. Claudia. Karina. Oh, where are they? <laughs> Okay, okay, so thank you guys. Thank you so much um, for joining today's class. Let me, ahora sí, let me present my screen. Okay, and uh, we are going to, uh, okay, Pedrina, no se preocupe, gracias, le agradezco enormemente por estar acá, you know, for um, joining, it's all right. So, um, let's get started today. Vamos a hacer un pequeño recap. Let's get started with one question here. And it says, let's talk. So guys, I want you to um, talk, obviously, right? So my question is, work from home, WFM, or work inside, o ir a la oficina a trabajar, or go to your company? So le llamamos como work inside. Ir al edificio. So, which do you prefer and why? <laughs> okay, I don't know if because of the um, COVID, tuvieron la oportunidad de quedarse en casa o trabajar desde casa, so work from home. Yes. Uh, and if not, still, <clears throat> we have a choice, right? O tenemos como, I don't know if you had experience or just the idea. So, tell me what is better for you. What do you prefer? Work from home? Or work inside, or ir a la oficina, go to your building and work. And of course, dígame por qué. Tell me why. So anybody? Um, mm -hmm. work, work inside. For you, work inside. Why? Yeah. Why to why, go to the um, company? Uh, in my house, distray, distray, distracciones. Mm -hmm. There are too many distractions. Yeah, distraction or this I am in, in, in discipline. Oh, no, okay. Uh, yeah. okay. No, 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 no for what up. No, mm -hmm. uh, the watching myself, mm -hmm. TV, or play on my daughter. Mm, okay, okay. Yeah. So you prefer to go to the site because you cannot concentrate yes. <laughs> in your house. Yes. Very good point. That yeah. sounds good. Yeah. Sonia, hello. Thanks for joining. Hello. Uh, hello. Nice to see you there. Uh, Eduardo, creo que vi. I think I saw Eduardo too. So thank you for joining as well. Okay, guys. So Danis preferred to work from, to work inside to go to the company. What do you prefer? Work from home, WFM, or work inside? I, I, pref I prefer to the work in, inside. Why? Be because it's, I came to talk with my home worker. And I, I, I can share my time with, with them. And for example, in my in my in my home is difficult is difficult because it's my mother always do any, uh, cualquier cosa, anything. Anything, okay. In, yes, in, I can concentrate in my, in, my house, in my house. Okay, so in your house, you cannot concentrate and in your workplace, you can talk to people. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. But, 
but in the in, in the in the works work uh, workplace my mm -hmm. workplace I can I can uh, listen my my home my work 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 worker my your co-workers I, uh -huh. I I came to ask uh, preguntarles uh -huh. I can to ask uh -huh. something about my work amazing okay okay good oh my god I am very um I am surprised I have to say because I thought you would tell me no I prefer to work from home <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like no. what what's going on no. here okay anybody else guys give me your opinion what do you prefer go to the company or uh, to work from your house go to the company go to the company Carlos go to the company too yes for inside wow okay Mabel what do you prefer Hello? Yeah, what is better for you? To go to the company or to work from your house? Go to the company. Why? Oh my God. <laughs> okay. In Why? my house, uh, it's complicated for my children. Oh. And el calor. Uh, yeah, the weather. Very hot. Is very yeah, hot. the heat. Uh, okay. Uh huh. And basically, así. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, oh my god, I'm super impressed. Es como puedo decir que tengo más a la mano al equipo de trabajo por una consulta uh -huh. rápida o lo que sea. Sure, there is a word that is uh, very useful that is handy. So handy is a la mano, right? So everything is handy. So it's a la mano. Okay. Mm, very good. So when you go to the company, everything is handy. Interesting because I prefer to work from home. <laughs> there is no traffic. There is no stress. The only problem is, yeah, the weather. It is so hot because no aire. <laughs> there is no air conditioning. <laughs> so I agree. Yes. Okay. Yes. I agree. What about the rest? Have you ever worked from home? Trabajaron en algún momento desde la casa? Did you work from home? Yes. 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 Working in, in home is very difficult, but uh, in my case, I must end all the work. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, I work to 10 p.m. sometimes. Mm -hmm. And okay. in the office is only to 5 or, or 6 p.m. And next. Uh, uh, over time, uh huh. Okay, payment uh, in uh -huh. they don't, don't pay you. <laughs> okay, to end the work. Oh, that's a very good point. Working from home, they call you, and it doesn't matter if it is 7 p.m., they are like, Ah, oh, but you're from home. <laughs> okay, yes. and, okay, and the, the call. Uh, is uh, where no was to my my cell phone mm -hmm. okay in the, in enterprise i have a, a phone assignment oh you mean you pay so if you need yes. to call somebody you need to pay for the call yes oh that's so bad yes. okay yeah that, that's definitely bad all right I prefer work site Okay, good. That sounds good. Does anybody or is anybody working from home right now? Is anybody working from from your houses? From your house? No, nobody. So everybody is working inside. Todos van a la empresa. Does everybody go to the company? Yes. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting. Wow, that that's just interesting. So I am the only one working from home. <laughs> okay. The thing is that I guess we get used to. Uno también se acostumbra, right? So we get used to. But but your points are super valued. All right, guys. Nice and very interesting. Listen to your opinion. That's really good. Now let's work a little bit. Uh, today we are going to work a little bit with some job-related vocabulary. Pero antes de, de trabajar un poquito con job-related things, Let's get familiar with some vocabulary. Algunas palabras son nuevas, probably some are new, but in general, ya las conocen. You already know most of the words. So help me please, first with the me, vamos a pronunciarlas, we are going to pronounce them to make sure that we get the words, and then we give examples. The first, please repeat with me, higher. Higher. 
Higher. Higher. Mm -hmm. The second, fire. 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 Mm -hmm. The next one, resign. Resign. Next one, sign. 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 The other one, clocking. 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 Yes. The next one, earn. Earn. Yes. Earn. Next one, salary. 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 Yeah. Next one, look for. Look, look for. for. Mm -hmm. Next one, apply. 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 And the last one, unemployed. 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 unemployed exactly unemployed okay now let's go ahead and check vocabulary here for example higher what is the meaning of higher contratar contratar perfect yes that's higher the second fire yo sé que es fuego but aparte de fuego besides fire no es que le vayan a poner fuego a la empresa o anything. Okay, so higher. Yo, yo a decir fuego, Iba. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I mean, yes, pero. Despedido, okay. como despido. Exactly. Fire es despedir. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Very good. So higher, contratar. And fire, despedir. Right? Or si le agregó una D, sería despedido. Like, despedido. Yo, me despidieron. I was fired. Uh -huh. So was that fired. would be the one. Ya lo vamos a utilizar. The next one says resign. What do you think? What is resign? Any idea? ¿La han visto antes? Renunciar. Renunciar, correct. Exactly. This is resign. Renunciar. The next word is sign. What about sign? Mm. Resign es renunciar. En sign, esta palabra se parece bastante a cantar, right? Sing, pero sing se escribe al revés. Es I-N-G, es sing. Pero esta va sign, es I-G-N. Sign. ¿Alguna vez han visto la palabra signature? Es firma. Firma, exactly. Entonces, sign es la palabra firmar. When they tell you, please sign here, yeah, or sign the form, sign the document. So sign is firmar, all oh, right? Okay. Es la firma. Mm -hmm. um, y, well, es firmar, es la acción. Pero signature viene de acá. Signature, la firma viene de esta palabra sign. Um, the following word is clocking. Bien interesante this word because no hay como una forma de... De traducirla, I would say, no literalmente. So, any idea what this is? Clock in? Let me explain. Um, when we get to the company, algunas veces hay como un marcador, right? Well, antes eran tarjetitas. <laughs> Then they change y ahora pueden, tienen que poner la huella digital, right? Some other companies are different yes. because tienen como iris scanner. Ahora solo acercan yes. un poco el ojo, right? Some yeah. other places tienen como un batch, tienen como una, um, ¿cómo se llama eso? Como un carnet. They have like a, a batch y yes. solo lo escanean, right? Um, what do you do in your company? ¿Cómo se loguean? How do you clock in in your company? With my face. With your face. Wow. Face recognition. Okay. That's all. Oh, high technology. No, okay. No, no register. You don't? No, uh, no uh, but uh, my, my, my... No marca? Uh, no. Eh, oh. Pero es, es una Face ID. Face ID. Okay. Yes. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I don't care. Uh, don't care. Yes, famous or class. Ah, it recognizes, no. it recognizes yes. your face. Yeah. Wow, yes. nice. Okay, so face recognition. Okay, yeah. what about the rest of you? How do you clock in? Yeah. ¿Cómo, cómo, se, ¿Cómo se registran o cómo marcan in your company? Do you, sure. do you put like your finger? Yes. Ajá, uh -huh. eso le iba a preguntar. How do you say huella digital or fingerprint? Yes, that's a fingerprint. fingerprint. Uh huh. 
Eh, that's una huella digital. Las huellas. Finger. Uh, finger. Wait. Fingerprint. So you have fingerprint, right? La huellita. Or face recognition. Face. Well, face ID, we can call it. Face identification. Face ID. Okay. Wow, ha cambiado. Okay. <laughs> ya no son las tarjetas as before. <laughs> okay, what about the rest of you? Guys, ¿cómo marcan? How do you clock in? ¿No marcan? No. No. Teacher, in my company, yes, mm -hmm. it's a fingerprint. A fingerprint, okay. Yeah. Oh, well. Solo, solo uh -huh. que por el momento está suspendido. For the for the COVID, uh -huh, because of the contact, I guess, and everything. Okay, okay, but that would be fingerprint. You know, for me, el marcar for me is conectarme. <laughs> okay, so okay. because it's como la forma to measure yes. si estoy aquí. Entonces a eso, a eso le llamamos login, right? Because it is in the computer. So oh. si usted no marca con el dedo, con la cara, etc., pero le marca la computadora o le marca algún device que vaya a utilizar, eso sería un login, right? In my case, es un login. Because si estoy en línea, it's like, okay, I'm working. Uh, anybody else? Teacher. Yes. Teacher, in my, in my case, mm -hmm. uh, the, our company to use uh, Face ID. Face ID. In, yeah, in 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 the in the, the sorry the 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 person the, what say the what what say oh in, in, the vigilante the watchman the watchman yeah the, the watchman security the, person the, the, uh huh yeah the security person check. The, the the all the employees in, to access at the company. When you say Over, they check, you mean yeah. talking about security, like yeah. they check your bags. And 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 take a temperature to the oh. all the person. Oh, okay, okay. How how to to form to check the access the employees okay the, the face id and mm -hmm. the the security person so, but but when you say the security person you mean they only take your temperature or you mean like ellos lo revisan, they check all your belongings yeah two two um, two ways two ways yeah oh okay wow okay okay that sounds more complicated and, and more time as well. So it sounds like more time. Okay, thank you. So that is clocky, right? Como registrarse, marcar, etc. Or start work. The next word that we have, the next one that is right here, says earn. Okay. Um, earn. Any idea what this is? Es un verbo, es una acción. Do you know the meaning? ¿Alguien la ha visto? Yes, exactly. Earn es ganar. But let me explain this. Because hay otra palabra que es win, que también significa ganar. What is the difference? Win es cuando tiene un partido, por ejemplo, y a veces por obra de Dios, you win. <laughs> ok, o por no. suerte, you win. Or no. because of your effort. <laughs> ok, pero earn nos referimos a dinero, ¿ya? Yeah? So earn is porque usted ha trabajado duro. You have worked really hard y ganó un salario. So win is como menos esfuerzo, let's say, o más que en partidos, en la lotería, etc. And earn se refiere a salario. So we are talking about your salary. Earn, right? That is the one. Um, salary, creo que es bastante fácil. That's uh, nuestro yeah. salario. Yeah, uh, salary. Look for, now look for, this is buscar. Como cuando usted busca un empleo. Sir, I look for a job. Busco mis llaves. I'm looking for my keys. Busco a, a mi sobrino. I'm looking for my niece or my nephew. So look for is buscar, right? Que estoy buscando algo. I'm looking for something. Uh, apply. I think we know it. So apply is aplicar. Especialmente cuando se aplica una beca. Yes. So you apply for a scholarship. 
aplica a un trabajo, I apply for a job, o aplico una vacante, I apply for a, a vacant, all right? So that's apply, yo aplico a algo, right? Eh, y la última, unemployed, es desempleado, right? That you don't have a job. Here, todos son employed, ya todos son empleados. So, unemployed, la última, the negative word, so that is desempleado, la persona que está desempleada, right? So, unemployed. Mm -hmm. okay. Or employee, but employee sí es el, el empleado, right? So, employed or employee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, guys, so with this word, con este vocabulario que tenemos acá, I want you to give me some examples, right? Quiero que me hagan un par de oraciones con las nuevas, the ones that are new. For example, salarilla, se la sabían, you don't know it, you don't need it. Uh, sign, for example, like firmar, you don't really need it. So, si lo necesitan escribir, no problem, go ahead and do it. Si les, se les hace más fácil decirlo, wait for me a couple of minutes y me regalan los ejemplos too. Me faltan algunos, I'm missing some. What's going on? Hi, Eduardo. Ahora sí, ya le veo el audio there. Um, guys, ¿tiene, tiene la, ¿tienen el vocabulario? Did you take a picture? ¿Les puedo dejar de compartir un momentito? ¿Can yes. I stop presenting? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. thank you. Let me, eh, voy a dejar de compartir un momento. Hold on, hold on. One more minute, guys. Un minutito. Remember, solo las palabras nuevas, only the ones that you find totally new.
everybody. So, um, are you ready? Is everybody ready? <clears throat> okay, everybody, so thank you so much. Let's go ahead and check some um, some of the examples that you have, right? Let me go ahead and let me present my screen again. So let's take a look at the following. Higher. ¿Me pueden regalar un par de ejemplos? Can you give me some examples using hired? Me, teacher. Yes, tell me. Um, at the distributor, they need to hire a experienced salt person. Oh, okay. Okay, that's a very good example. Thank you. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. Hired? No. With the hired, también podemos utilizar. Um, we can also use. Um, le puedo agregar una de, ya yeah, y ya es como contratado. So with fire oh. is the same. Le puedo agregar una de y ya es despedido. So I can say, for example, yo fui despedida. I was fired. O yo no fui despedida. I was not fired. O simplemente fire, right? De despedir, que alguien despidió a alguien más. So, what about fire? ¿Alguien tiene un ejemplo con fire? Yes, Ignacio. Uh, my, my example in the hire. Mm -hmm. in, uh, my hire date on the company was in January 2016. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, good, good. That's a very good example. Anybody else? Hired? For example, the government needs to hire a lot of people. The government needs to to hire or to fire. <laughs> oh, hire, hire. oh hire. hired, not yeah. fired. <laughs> okay, okay, that's all right. Clary, do you have an example? Well, Luca, do you have any example for us with hire or fire? Yes, my company be hired new person oh okay my company um so fire you said right hired hired es que se bastante, solo es un sonido. okay <laughs> so in that case no necesitamos el b solamente my company hires mm -hmm. okay. and that's perfect good sure. what a, yes uh, carlos example mm -hmm. uh, in my enterprise uh, hire a uh, Nurse to check the temperature. Ah, good. My company hired nurses. Okay. Cool. That's a very good example. Okay. Uh, what about resign? Tienen un ejemplo con resign? Do you have an example with this? I resigned because I traveled to other country. I resigned because I traveled to other country. Okay. Exactly. So you renunciate, right? I resigned. All right. Hey, teacher. Yes. Uh, I'm going to resign my job to start my own business. Oh, is that for real? Or is that an example? I, in five years. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so in five years, I'm going to resign to start my business. That's amazing. That sounds like a very good plan. What about, well, so we know that sign is firmar, so I'm going to skip it, all right? What about earn? Does anybody have an example with earn? Earn, do you earn anything? Uh, me, teacher? Yes. I want to earn the next bonus annual. No, okay. Yeah. I want to earn, <laughs> okay, that's yes. good. I want to yeah. earn more money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you have another example? Well. In my dreams, guys, ¿cuánto quieren ganar? How much do you want to earn? $3,000. Okay, $3,000. Moses, how much do you want to earn? 
Humildemente. Ahí humildemente. De los old school, no de la nueva. Oh, you mean de los sobresueldos. Ok, let's not talk about politics, yes, guys. Yes, yes, yes. Vamos a dejar la política de lado. Vamos a pelear acá. No se puede. We can, that's too sensitive. Maca, René, es un gran, René es un gran amante del frente. No, no vaya a ser, you know, que, que vamos a terminar acá peleando. Sí. So. Yeah. Ok, but, but I like, I like, um, most of word or hermosas expression <laughs> so humildemente i want to earn three thousand dollars or five thousand dollars <laughs> okay yes. okay sounds good so that is earn right ganar um what about look for or apply alguien tiene ejemplos with look for or, or apply uh, apply mm -hmm. i want to apply a new manager or management ah okay okay yeah. cool Cool, yes. cool, cool. Uh -huh. So I want to apply to be the manager, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Next year. Oh, so you have yeah. to get ready for next year. Okay, great, yeah. great. Uh, yeah. Anybody else apply or look for? Teacher. Yeah. yeah. For, for, uh, look for a uh, new board. Okay, I look for a new job, exactly, or a new place, a new work. Okay, very good. And the last one is unemployed. Um, alguien tiene un ejemplo? Yes. Um, I am how um a one center. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Um, I am. Uh, excuse me. Mm -hmm. And the year hold um to Samsung A. Mm -hmm. uh, 2000 to no to raising uh, raising uh, me because uh, my salary is was um, super low. Mm -hmm. um, and next month, mm -hmm. I'll a new work oh. in, in a gas station. Ah, okay. So you apply for a new job. So you have experience in, in, in the gas station, but, yes. but were you the kind of person que ponía más o ponía menos? <laughs> <laughs> or not really? ¿A dónde te pasar entonces? Para que nos pongan más. <laughs> <laughs> or yeah. you, you can give us a tip, you know, later, vamos a preguntarle a Norbert the tips to get more gasoline. <laughs> en la mañana okay. y en la noche, dice. Oh, yeah. that, that's what people say. Is it true, Norberto? Son mitos, son mitos. Is, is that a myth or is it cierto? Is that for real? It's real. So it's real. It's real. So it's real. So it's early morning oh. and, and late at night. Um, uh, Midnight. But oh. uh, the horario <laughs> varía. Okay. Como ya la hora más fresca, people say, right? For example, entraba. A las seis salía a las dos, o en otros meses oh. entraba a las dos y salía a las diez de la noche. Wow, that was a, la, uh -huh. a very hard schedule, but it's so short. Escuché que alguien dijo teach, teacher. No. Las, las voces en mi cabeza, you know? yes. The voices in my head. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Norbert. That was a very good example. That was really cool. Unemployed. Uh, um, do you have an example with unemployed for us? Remember Renee, that unemployed is desempleado. Oh, can you repeat? It's only an, an example. Renee is an employed. employed. Oh. oh, that's so mean. <laughs> No, it's, it's, it's an example. That, that is an it's example, example, I know. <laughs> René, respóndale. Uh, yes. okay. Y sale, cierto, vale. Y sale. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> ¿Qué le dijo? That's so <laughs> mean. Yo pensé que te habían dicho. No, era no. Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> ok. Eduardo, hello. Me alegra verlo de regreso. Creo que su inter lo está sacando, right? I think your internet is kicking you out. Eduardo, uh, can you hear me? No he escuchado la voz de Eduardo. <laughs> I don't know his face, his face or his voice. Eduardo, hello. Creo que su inter um, lo estaba sacando. Was kicking him out. Okay, okay, guys. So with this vocabulary, estamos bien. Are we good with this? Are we fine? Questions. Les quedó alguna duda con alguna palabra? How to use it? O tienen un ejemplo que no están seguros and you want to make sure? O estamos bien. Are we good? Clear. Uh, everybody? Yeah. Si hay algo, you know, you're not quite sure, o quieren revisar un ejemplo, please let me know, y así lo revisamos, so we can check it. Okay, uh, not a problem. Yes, dígame, tell me, tell me. Uh, I have one. I yes. look for new ideas to get better my job. Amazing. I look for better ideas. I like your example. That's very good. I look for better ideas. I look for different ways. I look for. So look for es como yo intento, yo busco, yo me rebusco. All right. So I look for. Mm -hmm. That was a very good example, Guadalupe. Nice, nice. Okay. Okay, guys. So, oh, sí, lo está sacando el internet. I see now. Okay. Now let's take a look at the following. Ahora sí, let's go ahead. And let's practice the topic for today. Ayer veíamos, what are your abilities? What are your strengths? No se sientan librados todavía. We, we will do it. <laughs> ya lo vamos a practicar. Pero vamos a agregar another question today. Y es esta. Take a look at this. Talk about the benefits I could bring to a company. Or I would bring to a company. In Spanish, um, I don't know if they have asked you, ¿por qué debería contratarlo? ¿Ya? Yeah. Les han preguntado algo así. Have they ever asked you in an, in an interview, uh, ¿por qué debería de contratarlo? ¿Por qué usted es la persona ideal? Or something like that. Yes, it is yes. A, a question uh, more repetitive. Uh, okay, okay. Now, guys, I have a question for you. Now that we are talking about interviews, when was your last interview? I mean, job interview. <laughs> I see what I look at, or you know, coming back in time. Like, okay, ¿cuándo fue la última entrevista, guys? When was your last job interview? Ten years ago, five years ago, a long time ten ago. Ten years ago. Ten. Oh, years. Wow. ten. In, in my case, um, nineteen years old. No, nineteen years ago. Wow, yes. 19. Oh my god. Okay. When was your I remember? Yeah. <laughs> no sé qué es esto, you know? Okay, okay. Yeah. What about the rest? When was your last interview? Uh, my case, the last oh, three years. Oh, okay. Three years. Uh, pero the promotion. Exactly, exactly. I was going to say something like that because also cuando lo ascienden, when you get a promotion, yes. le hacen otra yeah. entrevista. No para contratarlo, exactly. pero sí para promoverlo. So you can get yes. another interview, right? So the last, yes. la última, the last interview you have, when was that? Mm. Uh, Marvin? Yes. When was your last interview? Marvin's? <laughs> Like plural there. Yeah. Your last? Yes, uh, Ignacio. In my case, uh, the last uh, interview in mm -hmm. was uh, five years in eight months. Five years. Oh my God. And you remember the month, the month. <laughs> and the days? <laughs> yes. Okay. But wow. They, but, but, uh, the, my surprise. Uh -huh. is that was my first polygraph, polygraph test. Oh, you got a polygraph. Mm. Okay. Okay. Wow. And, uh, and I, I, I am. Um, you passed it. Nervous, nervous. You were nervous. Okay. Yeah. Were you sweating? Empezó a sudar. Were you sweating? Yeah, because 
they connect the line in my, wires in my in my, they, wire in my, in my finger in the uh, stomach my, yeah Yes, I know the feeling. Guys, have you ever taken a wires? Wires son como los cables, right? Que le conectan. They connect oh. wires to your oh, yeah. to your body, to your waist, como la cintura, yes. um, to your fingers. Yeah. Solo ahí, right? I don't remember. Your fingers and your waist. Okay. Guys, have you ever taken a polygraph? Aparte de Ignacio, who else has taken a polygraph? Never. 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 Nobody? No. 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 Never. No. Okay. Okay. Very interesting. Um, I have to tell you about my, I, I want to tell you super quick about my last job interview. My last job interview was one week ago. <laughs> okay. And now, ya no hacen el polígrafo the, the same way. Ahora le llaman test de honestidad. <laughs> so they call it now test de honestidad and es en línea, you know. And that was a very nice experience because um, they sent me the test online and de repente was like, okay, necesitamos activar la cámara. I was like, what? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so ahora es a través de sensores, you know, si se ríe, si, si, I don't know, if you blink, si cierra los ojos mucho, I, I don't know. Ah, pero ya, ya se falle ahí. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> believe me, you know, and it said, busco un lugar ventilado and everything, y eran como yeah. las dos de la tarde. It was like 2 p.m. Y estaba haciendo un calor, you know, it was so hot, and I was sweating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was sweating a lot. Así que, guys, creo yeah. que no lo pasé. <laughs> I think I didn't pass it. <laughs> but that is, a, the, yeah. creo que ahora es como el especie de polygraph. But uh. just for you to have an idea. Si alguna vez ven un, un test de honestidad, so it's uh, very similar to the polygraph. All right. So this is pretty much what they are asking for, you know, talking about the benefits you could bring to the company. In other words, porque deberían de contratarlo. Why would, why should they hire you? And it says here, can you name three ways you contribute to the company's mission? What specific benefits do you provide to your company? Ahorita vamos a responder estas preguntas, but first, Let's go ahead and check the conversation. Um, who wants to read? Quien quiere leer, guys? Who wants to read? Hi. Thank you, Carlos. Hi. So, Carlos, Carlos, usted no es oyente. Mm. Per perdón, es, acabo de ver. Um, ya, ya le confirmo, me parece que no I think you're not listening anymore Ya le confirmo Ok, Carlos, ayúdeme con André, please And necesito Kurt ¿Quién quiere leer la parte de Kurt? Who wants to read Kurt? Ay. Ok, thank you, Denise Ok, give me one second You can help us in, in the next one Oh, ok So le cedo el espacio Okay. <laughs> uh, who was that, Mabel? Hello? No. Was it you? I I'm sorry, I confused the voices. <laughs> Por un minuto confundí las voces. So, ¿quién dijo yo? Who said me? Yo, teacher. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, that was Jocelyn. For some reason, let's yeah. la voz different. I heard your voice different. <laughs> okay, so are you going to Kurt, please? Help me with Kurt. Okay. Um, the first person? Oh, no, the second. So, Carlos, you can start. Okay, start. Okay. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? A pretty comfortable seer with me experience. I can say there will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in, 
large, 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 large project. Nice, that sounds good. That's very, very good. So, you know, this question is very tricky because they are asking you what are the benefits of having you in the company. But revisemos qué es lo que responde. Number one, the person says, I can say this would be a great opportunity. Esta sería, right? This would be a great opportunity. Y me gusta este pedacito. I would be a great asset. Asset es como un miembro clave, all right? Un punto clave, una persona clave. So I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. So the person se vendió super bonito, you know? So yo sería, I would be, right? Uh, and also the person says, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. So they are talking about everything they um, they can do and they could do for the company, right? Talking about their experience. Now let's take a look at this one. I like question number two. Take a look. Do you consider that experience is important? Guys, what do you think? Yes. Is experience important? Yes. Japan uh, or position or... Okay, so yes, okay. it depends on the position. Okay. Yes. What about the rest? What do you think? Is it important? Hi, Nelson. Good evening. Happy to see you there. So, hello. So, experience is important. It depends on the position. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, Let's take a look at the following. Um, I want you to pay attention to this topic, el que dice I would be, all right? Utilizamos would um, sobre cosas que pudieran pasar, pero no necesariamente son reales. So es como I would, I would be, I could be, yo podría, yo sería, right? Um, this one, the example, son limitados al verbo to be, pero no son los únicos. They are not the only ones. For example, if I have like an experience at work, yo puedo utilizar yo llamaría, I would call, yo le diría, I would tell my boss, yeah? So let's take a look and let's practice the topic of would. Primero, pronunciamos, please. Would. 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 Y la siguiente, could. Would. Could. Sí, la L. Could. Could. Would. I would be. I could be. I could be. Could. I could. I could be. Could be. Could be. Sí, la L. I could. Could. I could be. I could be. I could be. I could be. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Much better. Very good. I would be, I could be. Exactly. So let's take a look at this. I have, for example, three questions uh, for you. So veamos un poquito de qué es lo que haríamos in these situations. La respuesta siempre va a ser, I, uh, va a ser, I would. Yeah, remember, I would es como yo haría esto. I would. No cambio el verbo ni nada. I would call, I would be, I would stay, I would tell, etc. So, revisamos esto. Number one says, what would you do if you didn't like a co-worker? What would you do? ¿Qué haría? Right? What would you do if you didn't like a co-worker? Si, no si no les pareciera, si no les cayera bien un compañero. <laughs> okay. What would you do? If you didn't like a co-worker, guys, denme un par de ideas. Give me some ideas. Vamos a utilizar I would y luego el verbo. I would talk. I would change my, my chinese, no, or my... I would change my behavior. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. You would change your behavior. Richard, yes. ¿qué haría? what would you do? Creo que escuché la voz de Richard a lo lejos. Richard is dancing. Oh, 
okay okay so all right all right that's okay so tell me I what would you mm -hmm. i will talk uh in oh i would ignore the person yo lo ignoraría <laughs> i would ignore the person okay uh, les escribí acá no porque negativo solo por ejemplo yo no hablaría con él that could be i would not Solo le agrego el not. I would not talk. Yo no hablaría. I would not talk to the person. Mm -hmm. So this is the one. I would not speak to the person. Exactly. Take a look at number two. What would you do? ¿Qué harían? What would you do if your boss is being rude? Si su jefe es como grosero, pésimo, eh, o los trata mal. What would you do if your boss is being rude? So again, I would. I would. Uh -huh. ¿Qué harían? I would. ¿También lo ignoraría? I would uh, ignore him. <laughs> no. No, right? Yes, Probably yes. not. Uh, yes. Uh, Solo porque I, la jefa está aquí. <laughs> I would. <laughs> okay. ¿Qué haría? What would you do? Uh, I would coach him. Coach him for. I would coach him. Yeah. Okay, I would talk to him. Yeah. Or hablaría con mi jefe, con mi manager. I would talk to my manager. Yeah. yeah. So, so what would you do, right? Pensamos como en algunas soluciones. La última yeah. dice, what would you do if you saw, right, your co-worker is stealing some money? ¿Qué harían si vieran if you saw a co-worker tomando dinero que no es de él o de ella? What would you do? I would report. I would report the person. Yes, yes. Yeah. Or sure. me haría la disimulada. No. <laughs> okay, I would turn around, me daría la vuelta, you know. Uh, le mandaría un texto, I would send a text message. I don't know, what would you do, right? I ¿Qué harían? What would you I do? Would I would help. I would, oh, yo ayudaría a robar. What? I wouldn't help, no. Okay, okay, no, guys. So, let's take a look at this. Son tres preguntitas. Eh, vamos a, quiero que me den tres posibilidades, tres soluciones, right? Para cada una de ellas, for each of them. Pero lo vamos a hacer en grupo. We are going to do it in group. Eh, so, son tres por cada una, pero como grupo, right? As a group. So, uh, remember, talk to the guys, you know, come up, eh, pónganse de acuerdo en some possibilities. Y solo tenemos cinco minutos. We only have like uh, five minutes to do the activity. Remember, vamos a utilizar I would o la negativa I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. También pueden utilizar could, como yo podría, I could. Y lo negativo es el mismo, I could not. Mm -hmm. So, cinco minutos. Let's go. Le pueden tomar captura in case. Yes.
Only only work stuff. stuff. Asuntos laborales. Only work stuff. Okay. And number two. Number two is what is this? What will you do if your boss is being rude? What would you do if your boss is being rude? For example, change the job. ¿Cómo? Cambiar de trabajo, change the job. You, ah, you, you will change, you will, you will look for another job. Pero en el lugar donde tuve que cambiarme porque, no sé, quizá le caía mal al tipo. Hi guys, are you serious? Yes, teacher, I'm serious. Why? What, what happened? Did you suffer moving? Eh, era como bien personal lo que tenía, entonces no me cambié. Pero, I don't know. Le caía mal. Okay, but how long did you work in the company? En Ranza. Oh, that was in Ranza. How long? ¿Cuánto trabajo ahí? How long did you work in the company? Three months. Oh, no, bien corto. That was, oh, that was like a really short period of time. Okay. Really short period. Okay. Eduardo, hello. Ya escuché su voz. <laughs> I heard no, your man, voice it's... already. <laughs> Okay. Hello, Hello. So nice meeting you. Um, hi, Marvin. I, I also see Marvin. Hi, teacher. There we go. Nice, nice. Okay, guys. So, wow. That's a very drastic solution, the one that you mentioned, Moses. But I think sometimes, si es como demasiado, if it is too much, Anyways, right? We have to do it. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. Sorry to interrupt you. You can continue. Three, what would you do if you saw a coworker stealing some money? Report. Hello. Hi guys. So hey there. Why is everybody so quiet? Hi Nelson. <laughs> so thank you so much. Gracias por unirse. Thank you so much for joining. Um, how are you doing here? Did you get the examples? Did you get the sentences? Do you need any help? Norbert? Teacher, Hello. Eh, tengo llamada ahorita, por eso no puedo participar. Yeah, I saw you. I think I saw you. No worries. Thank you so much. Gracias okay. por venirse, mm -hmm. That's all right. Uh, so, no, Norbert, uh, Brenda, ¿ya compartieron las, sus oraciones? Did you share your sentences? Uh, no, teacher. Ahorita estamos... Bueno, estoy... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, <coughs> Uh, yeah, sure. Háganla juntos. Let's do them together. Complete them together. That's easier. Excuse me, Brenda. No las hemos compartido las oraciones. No, I mean, eh, hagan las oraciones juntos. Let's complete them together. So, um, Normally, it's much okay. more fácil. It's easier. 
because todos tenemos como ideas diferentes and this is coming now with solutions. So it's okay. Um, sure. Piensen, piensen who, who the, <laughs> la lengua la traba. So piensen juntos, think together about them and come up with some ideas. Yes, Norbert. Eh, solo quería preguntarle si, por ejemplo, llamado de atención está bien, call, call the attention. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. You can call Tenía somebody's dudas. attention. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Tenía dudas. Oh, no, no. That's okay. Yeah, I'm sure. I will call some that person's attention. Yep. That works. Okay, guys. So, let's have a part of minutitos. Um, armenlas juntos, you know. So, no, no las hagan individualmente, but do it together. So, complete them okay. together. Mm -hmm. Ok, Nelson. <laughs> I, I, I don't have boss in, in the, my company because the, the, my boss is la dueña de la empresa. I, she is. Casi, casi no pasa ahí. Mm. But if, uh, Si fuera el caso, I report uh, recurs human. Okay. Maybe. And you, Ignacio? Um, I can't do much. Um, I, I can't do much because he has the upper hand in English. Uh, when the when the boss is being real, sorry, but this our but this our our looking is my 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 bad looking. So, but I I have a a boss cool. Very nice. And uh, Qué genial. But but if if I I uh, have the boss in being real, I will not uh, I can I cannot much I cannot much because he has the he has the upper hand. Eh, no se puede hacer mucho, ellos tienen el sartén por el mango, ellos Ellos no se puede hacer mucho. Eh, entonces, eh, adaptarse, adaptarme. Mientras duro, mientras dura esa situación. <risa> mientras dure. Me toca de otra. Hi, guys. Hi, I'm sorry. I was just listening. Um, uh, that, that's a very good idea, you know, uh, what Ignacio mentions. Y de hecho, most of the times en las empresas nos piden que seamos flexibles, right? <laughs> so, um, but, but I like that, you know. So if my boss is being rude, yo me adapto. I would adapt, right, to the situation. All right. So that sounds fine. ¿Cómo puedo decir yo no haría nada? How can I say that? Yo no haría. I stay way up. To... I, will, I will not, I will not, nothing. nothing. Okay, exactly. So I, I would not do anything. So yo no haría nada. I wouldn't do anything. That, that, is, that is the way to express it. Okay, okay, nice. Sounds good, sounds good. So let's go ahead and speak them. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do Anything. Yo no haría nada. I wouldn't do anything. I wouldn't do anything. I would do anything. Okay. In my case, I will do anything. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do anything. I do anything. But I can. I will fight. <laughs> mm 
the number three, uh, what would you, if you saw a co-worker stealing some money? Hi guys, <laughs> hi Jackie, hi Clary, Richard, Pedrina, hello. Gracias Pedrina por vol volver a ingresar. I know your internet is killing you. Hi Richard, how are you? Hello, hello Miss, good evening. I know, hello. I know, I know. ¿Está lloviendo? Is it raining there Richard? Sí, algo, algo, pero aquí estoy escuchando nada más por el momento que me saco. Sí, de hecho me acabo de, de ver eso que, que me lo sacó, but, pero gracias por regresar también, Pedrina. Thank you so much, there. Eh, Mi, yeah. lo siento que no pude participar porque eh, tenía visita por acá, entonces no podía encender el micrófono. Oh. Pero sí estaba escuchando. <risa> ok, qué genial. <risa> so, ¿Ya se fueron? How they going? Yes, yes. <laughs> I am alone. I am okay. alone. Okay, thank you, Jackie. Okay, so um, pretty much, eh, lo que estábamos haciendo es como creando o hablando de las posibilidades y qué harían ustedes, what you would be doing en estas situaciones, right? So it's okay. I'm not going to ask you to go there porque lo más seguro, Richard and Pedrina, es que lo vuelva a sacar. So let's try to do it here. For example. Uh, let's go with the last situation. What would you do if you saw a coworker stealing some money? ¿Qué harían si ven a alguien robando? Well, un compañero, right? What would you do if you saw a coworker stealing some money? Para hablar de lo que ustedes harían, podemos utilizar I would. Yo haría esto. I would. So, ¿qué haría? What would you do? Siempre iniciaríamos diciendo el would. Sí, porque would me da la idea que no es real, sino que puede okay. que yo haría esto. Ajá, porque es una situación que no es real. So I would. Yo llamaría, yo hablaría con alguien, yo lo reportaría. So what would you do? I would, I would report it to the immediate. No sé cómo se pronuncia eso, inmediatamente, inmediate. In immediately, uh -huh. immediately, my boss. Okay, so you would report it to your boss. Okay. okay. Yes. So what about you guys? What would you do? Richard, Jackie? Katie, would you report it? Lo reportarían también? Would you report it to your boss? Miss dijo immediately. Yes, immediately. Se escribe immediately, <laughs> but, but we pronounce it immediately. Mm -hmm. So that's immediately. Okay. All right, so you will report it to your boss. Anything else? ¿Qué más haría? What would you do? Tomaría, no sé, fotos, videos. <laughs> Ahora with technology, we don't know. So what would you do? I will um, have a video. Um, okay. You would have a video. Uh -huh. Yes. Eh, evadir, como se, como se dice. Eh, to uh, avoid. To evadir avoid, es avoid. Yes, avoid. Um, avoid. No, no. Eh, relacionarme con esa persona. Oh, so, okay. Digamos que no voy a hablar con esa persona. O voy a evitarla. No, Utilizando no. I would. So, re, repita conmigo. I would avoid. I would. I would I, okay. I, eh, I would. I would. I would I avoid. Avoid. Uh -huh, the person. The person. Exactly. I would avoid the person. Yes. Yo lo evitaría. I would. Avoid a person. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. I would avoid the person. Oh, very interesting. Solo evitaría. Okay. Okay, wow. All right. 
That's a little bit, um, well, difficult, I have to say. Dolores, hello, gracias por acompañarnos. Thank you so much. Me alegra que ya pudo entrar. I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> hello, thank you. Yeah, is your internet better? Sigue así, este, como inestable. Uh, well, esperemos que nos dé, you know. Tiempo. <laughs> Let's wait for you can give us some time. But thank you so much. I'm so happy to see you there. Super, super cool. Okay, so um give me one second. Everybody is coming back. Oh my god, you know what? No me había percatado que ya son las nueve. <laughs> I had not paid attention. Que ya casi nos vamos. My goodness. Okay. Hi guys, thanks a lot for coming back. Um Thank you for being here. Me faltan un par todavía, but mientras regresan, let's take a look at this. We were talking about some possibilities. De qué harían? What would you do in this uh, in this scenario, right? In the different situations. So, ayúdenme con la primera. Help me with the first. What would you do if you didn't like a coworker? Si no les agradara un compañero, what would you do? ¿A quién no he escuchado? <laughs> Who haven't I heard? <laughs> Alex? Alex anda bien callado ahora. Alex, yes, Alex? Yes, <laughs> There you go. So, ¿qué haría? What would you do, Alex? Oh, empieza a llover here. Eh, Brenda, what would you do? ¿Qué harían tú? I will not speak. Speak. <laughs> oh, you will not speak to the person. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. That makes se, sense. Se me probó el internet, teacher. Sí, me, no se preocupe, me di cuenta. I noticed that. But it's okay. Sí, sí. I, sí. Uh -huh. I will try to make a friend. I you will uh -huh. speak with my co-worker. Oh, interesting. So you would try to make friends. Oh, that's nice. So Alex is more like, okay, no, no me agrada, pero voy a intentarlo. I'm going to try. Oh, I like it. Because, Very cool. Because one, or solo una vez nada más. Only, oh, only one time. So you would try to do it only one time. Okay. No, but nice, nice. I would say I would ignore the person. <laughs> But I like your answer. Me gusta su respuesta. I like your answer. Like, muy uh, integradora. So that sounds great. Guadalupe, well, Keria, yeah. what would you do? I will, uh, I will not speak this talk. You will not speak to the person? No. <laughs> Ese nivel lo puedo ver en su rostro, like, for real. <laughs> you wouldn't speak to the person. Okay. That's okay. Uh, guys, la última. What would you do if you saw a co-worker stealing some money? Querían si ven a alguien tomando dinero. What would you do? I would report. You would report the person? Yeah. ¿Qué más? Yes. What else? Yes. Uh, I would call the attention. The person. I would speak. Yeah. I would speak to the person. Okay. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué haría? I would fire him. Could you repeat? I would fire him. Oh, in your case, tiene el poder. <laughs> so you got the power in your hands. Okay. So, oh, you would fire the person. That's sad, but yes. Ignacio? I, I would prevent it. You, you would? I would prevent it. Because maybe they maybe he need he need a, a little money, but the the work is more important. Mm -hmm. my, my opinion is uh, I so, will like so. I will prevent it. Okay, I like that. I like that. En, en el chat les he escrito una palabrita adicional. No sé si la habían visto alguna vez antes. Es la palabra warn, right? Um, the warning. No sé si han visto warning como en los fusibles, en cosas eléctricas que dice warning. So, en el caso de recursos humanos o si ustedes tienen gente... Eh, 
personal a su cargo, tienen subordinados, colaboradores, etc. Yes. Eh, podemos usar la palabra warn, que es advertir. Advertir. Ya, como hablar con ellos como una advertencia. So, I will warn him or I will warn her. Very good. Good guys. So, I'm sorry, it's raining. Creo que me voy a mover in a minute. Let's take a look at this. Here we have some examples. Tenemos esta parte de would. We have this part of could. And it says here, use would be or could be, no solamente con be, right? Tenemos más verbos. When you want to give the impression of possibility in the future. No es algo real, pero es algo que puede pasar. Like, I would be a great asset. Yo sería una pieza clave. I could be of great help in the sales department. Yo podría ayudar de manera enorme en el departamento de ventas, etc. So, ¿cómo lo vamos a utilizar? Por lo general está el sujeto y luego would, I would, I could, más el verbo. Algo interesante es con el verbo be. Remember, no lo vamos a cambiar. I could be, I would be, it would be. Como cuando digo sería, sería bueno. ¿Cómo puedo decir sería bueno? Siempre necesito un sujeto. ¿Qué sujeto puedo utilizar? I, you, it, she, it. It would, okay. be, it would be great. It would be great. Exactly. Sería bueno. Oh, sería, sería feo. Sería, you know, desagradable. ¿Cómo digo sería desagradable? ¿Cómo decimos desagradable? Hay muchas formas de decirlo. So. It would be disgusting. Very All good. Right. It would be disgusting. It would be bad. It would be annoying. Ugly, ugly. ugly. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. So, siempre voy a utilizar it cuando hablo, hablo de una situación en sí. Yeah, so, and it will, it will be toxic. For <laughs> it could be toxic. <laughs> okay. Tenía rato de no escuchar sí, la right. palabra toxic. Right. All right. <laughs> okay. So, let's take a look at this. Vamos a completar el ejercicio número 5. Lo único que vamos a hacer es ir poniendo las palabras en orden. Hagámoslo juntos. Let's do it together. Number one. ¿Cuál palabra me funciona como un sujeto? What can be the subject here? It. Mm -hmm. It. It. Would be. It would be. Uh, a gray. Mm -hmm. Great. Opportunity to study. Ajá. Ah. Falta una palabra. Super oh, bien. Wow. Yeah, very yes. nice. Yes. Guys, alguien lo puede escribir en el chat. Can you write it in the chat? That's great. Okay, number one. It would be a great opportunity to study abroad. So what is abroad? ¿Qué significa esta palabra? What is the meaning of abroad? It would be a great yeah, opportunity country. to study in another country. Exactly. It would be a great opportunity to work abroad. That would be amazing. Exactly. So very good. Good, good, good. Number two. La pueden escribir también en el chat si ya la tienen lista. Does anybody have number two? Who can help me with number two? First, identifiquemos el sujeto. El sujeto de que estoy hablando. So, in number two, yes. ¿de qué creen que estamos hablando? Employee. Employees. Ok, comencemos uh, con employees. De, de entrenamiento. Training. Ah, o el training, yeah, cualquiera training. de los dos. So, we can talk about a training or employees. Probemos yes. con cualquiera. <coughs> I could be a training. Ok, let's start with training. Mm -hmm. Or employees for beneficial. Uh, um, it could be. 
employees could be employees could be no y number two, ambas se pueden eh, well, tenemos como posibilidad employees y también tenemos training um, comencemos con training, let's make it with training como sujeto, so a training ok, a training could be podría ser que a training could be beneficial a training could be beneficial para quién For, uh, our for yes, employees. there we go. A training could be beneficial for our employees. Very good. There we go. What about number three? What do you think number three could be? Eh, les voy a dar el inicio. So the beginning is working. La primera palabra es working. Okay. Working less hours will be another benefit. Very nice, exactly. Working less hours would be another benefit. Very good, 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 good. That is the one. Working less hours would be another benefit. What about number four? Option staff would be a weekend soft. A, and then have good happy. What's going on here? Weekends off will be a good option for a uh, happy staff. Oh, that's good. You're really good at this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So definitely that could be a possibility. So um, pueden ser de, de diferente orden. We can change it in a different way. So, but pretty much esa es la idea. That is the idea. Like to have weekend stuff. Right? So we start like this. To have weekend soft would be, um, would be an option. Wait, 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 I lost it. Oh, would be a, a good option, yeah, for um, happy stuff. So, yeah, that definitely works. So, we can start like to have, to have weekends off. Um, later, vamos a ver por qué se puede comenzar con ING o por qué se puede comenzar con two, but so far, that is the idea. Uh, guys, help me out with number five. Sorry, está lloviendo un poco acá. No sé si me logran escuchar. If not, me avisan. Y me, me voy a cambiar de, de lugar. Okay, great. Thank you. So what about number five? What, what can we use in number five? I will give you the beginning. So that is Maria. Maria. Maria is the first, the first word. Oh, okay. Maria could be held in the Department of Inventory. Very nice. Okay. Okay, very, very nice. Solo una palabra falta. Only we are missing the word of. Grace department. So, Maria, Maria could be. Could be help in the, in the department of inventory. Okay. <laughs> inventory department estaba super bien. Inventory department is good. Pero el of va en otro lugar. <ríe> Lo tiene súper bien. Solo vamos a poner el of. So, María could be. 
Maria could be help. I, I want to say ella podría ser de mucha ayuda. So Maria yes. could be great help. Great exactly, help. great help. Great Entonces help. ahí le voy a poner el of. So Maria could be of great help in the inventory department. That's the one. So y esa es la expresión que usamos para decir podría ser de mucha. So this person could be of great, of great use, of great help, etc. So this is como de it's mucha. Not much. Mm, podría ser much, pero acá está utilizando la palabra great. Entonces. Polite. Mm -hmm, yes. Es mucha más bonita. <laughs> it sounds better. It definitely sounds better. No. Okay, guys. So now we checked uh, this grammar thing. We checked already this part. Ahora es nuestro tiempo para hablar. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at the following. Vamos a ir practicando estos temas, you know. And la única forma de saber si hay dudas or anything es practicándolas. Así que no worries about it. Si ha quedado alguna duda, ahorita la vamos a solventar. It says here, let's practice. El día de ayer tenían una tarea que era hablar de sus abilities and strengths. Que nos quedó oh. algunos como tarea. Ok. Yes. I have three questions for you today. Que son las que vamos a practicar. Number one says, what are your strengths? El tema de ayer, right? Um, number two, what do you bring to the company? So, en otras palabras, lo que acabamos de ver. Pero, ¿por qué debemos de contratarlos a ustedes? ¿Qué le aportan a la empresa? What benefits do you bring to the company? Y ahí es donde entramos y decimos, I would, yo sería, you know, I, I would be uh, very, I don't know, responsible and I would be the person in charge of making the company grow. So, es el momento para que ustedes se vendan que, qué es lo que le aportarían a la empresa, right? Why should we hire you? Se parece bastante. So, la dos y la tres, so, no es necesario que las respondamos las dos. Con una de las dos está súper bien. So, why should we hire you? ¿Por qué debo de contratarlo, right? Bastante similar yes. a what do you bring to your company. Okay, guys, listen up. Les voy a dar tres minutitos. I will give you three minutes para que empiecen en la tres y en la dos. ¿Qué le, qué le aportan a la empresa? <laughs> ¿Cuál es aquello... Um, que ustedes tienen. What are some of the things that you have? Por lo general es experiencia, right? Most of the times is experience yes. en algún área específica. I was talking yesterday with Delmi that um, a veces uno lo ve, lo toma ya por, de hecho, you know, and we say, pero no tengo muchas habilidades. Pero cuando empiezan a hacer el recuento, puedo usar esta máquina, puedo hacer esto. Eh, no todos podemos hacer lo mismo, you know. So, piensen en todas aquellas cositas pequeñas that you can do, la experiencia que tienen, que normalmente hacen, right? Y cómo lo aportan a la empresa. So, what you bring to the company. So, I'll give you three, three, four minutes, y luego los practicamos. And then we will practice this part. So, pueden revisarlo, you know, si hay palabras nuevas, you can Google it, or let me know. Check your dictionary also. Mm -hmm. Si se sienten más cómodos todavía escribiéndolo, it's okay, you can write it down. Um, si consideran que ya eh, se atreven a dar un pasito más y solo pensarlo y eh, organizar la idea en, en la mente, perfecto, so that's great, that's perfect. So whatever you find easy. Four minutes, guys. Tienen cuatro minutitos, hasta las cuarenta.
necesitan más ideas, you know, cómo responderle de uh, what do you bring to the company, revisemos la conversación one more time. Podemos copiar algunas cosas, right? Podemos tomar de acá. Por ejemplo, eh, a mí me gustó mucho cómo explicaron esto. I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. No es que lo copie y lo pegue, <laughs> pero usted puede hablar de su experiencia, you know. Like, I would be a great asset to the company because, eh, for example, en el caso de Mabel, she says que ha trabajado 19 años en la compañía. So I would be a great asset in the company because I know the industry, because I have 19 years of experience working in the insurance area, for example. So I mean, it's como un plus, right? So podemos tomar ideas de acá. You can definitely get ideas from here. One more minute. Okay, everybody, listen up. We are going to get started with today's practice, okay? And uh, of course, vamos a revisar la parte de las abilities, strengths, y why should we why should we hire you? Lo que vamos a hacer es lo siguiente. Vamos a tomar roles. We are going to take roles. Vamos a ir a grupos un poco grandes. They are not like super small, but vamos a hacerlo en parejas, right? Uno es el entrevistador. One of you is going to be the interviewer. <laughs> And the other person is going to be the interviewee, all right? Ustedes deciden quién quiere preguntar and, uh, y pues a quién le toca responder, right? 
So we are going to do it. Entre más veces lo practiquen, better it will be. Más fácil se va a volver, you know, and, uh, y agarramos más fluidez también. En inglés hay algo que nosotros normalmente decimos repetir como perico. <laughs> ok. So repetir como perico means que entre usted más repita algo, no, me, no con la intención de memorizarlo, sino solamente repetirlo, repetirlo, se vuelve algo mecánico. Si usted repite algo 10 veces, like una palabra, si le dice 10 veces, like strength, 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 se vuelve mecánico y después cuesta menos. Entonces, eh, necesitan cambiar roles, let's do it. The idea is answered these two questions. Por ahorita solo son dos preguntas. What are your strengths? What do you bring to the company? O la cambian por la número tres. Why should we hire you? Que son bastante parecidas. No es necesario hacer las tres. Solo con dos estamos súper bien. Um, les voy a pedir que no lean lo que tienen. <ríe> ya lo escribieron. Ya saben lo que yes. tienen escrito. No lo lean. Don't read it. ¿Ok? Si pueden verlo, of course. Pueden revisar oh. cómo se decía esta palabra. Pero no lo lean. Because la idea es. Eh, ganar un poquito de confianza también, yeah. right? And get more fluency. So, I'm going to send you to the groups. Ustedes deciden, you select quien pregunta y quien responde. So, it is going to be up to you. Por supuesto, entre más responda, mucho más fácil se va a volver luego. Uh, Tienen solamente cinco minutitos. You got five minutes to ask and answer it. Y luego regresamos. Y vamos a tener un par de víctimas. Voluntarios. <laughs> ok, guys, let's do it. Cinco minutos. You got only five minutes. Aprovechenlos, please. Take advantage of the time. Recordemos que afuera de acá ya no practicamos. So let's do it. Let's go, go, go. Aquí estaba cortando vara yo aquí. <laughs> uh, 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 number one is your strength. Ah, okay. Yes, your for creator. Okay, okay. and number mm -hmm. two, you bring the company. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué portarías? Y number three, que es similar porque contratarte. Porque deberíamos contratar. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, no, no. In, in the number two, yes. I will be a fresh 
no sé cómo se dice conocimiento, con knowledge, algo así. Knowledge. Ah, yes. Con knowledge. knowledge. Con knowledge. No. Como no. 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 Knowledge. Ahora agreguele. No. 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 Yeah, no something leche. like that. Yeah. But yeah, that, that's no a correct leche. pronunciation, exactly. So no, no leche. leche. Okay. Es cierto, nunca lo había pensado así. Uh -huh. <laughs> I never <laughs> thought it that way. <laughs> Thank you for the for the comparison. Yeah. Y de hecho, sí funciona. So no leche. Mm -hmm. No leche. Okay. Yes. In my case, uh, I bring the ideal value stay in. No escuché bien, perdón. Uh, bring ideal value como dar valor agregado a la empresa mm. por, por oh, contratarme. Mm, ah, está bueno. Mm, mm. Yes, yes. <laughs> 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 what was that, Carlos? No lo iré a escucharlo. No, Why yeah. is the value a great? Yeah. Oh, ok. Um, well, de hecho, podremos, podemos usar la palabra asset. Que, asset. que viene siendo eso. No, asset. Oh, asset. Ah, <laughs> Con la asset. T, guys. <laughs> Suena como otra cosa. Yes. Asset. Yes. Now that is asset. Ajá, so asset, oh. es que un asset es como un miembro clave, you know, como ese valor agregado de yo sé. So, es, mm. es un miembro clave, un asset, un punto asset. estratégico. Uh -huh. okay. Un asset. asset. Yeah, como el de yes. la conversación. Like, I would be yes. an yes. asset. Uh -huh. asset. Ese es el, asset. el miembro clave, yes. Perfecto. Uh, number three, Carlos. Why should we hear you? Hire. Mm -hmm. Hire. Yes, hire you. Hire. Why should hire. we hire you? Yes. Uh, you should hire me because I have 15 years of experience in, in my department. Wow. wow! I learned uh, many areas of, of the enterprise, uh, process, uh, spare parts, uh, import, export, financial, storage, uh, uh, etc. Wow! Nice! I feel like I need to contact Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah, that, no, that was a very good description, Carlos. I mean, siento que se vendió. So you sold your experience. So cool. Yes. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds very nice. I like it. All right. So guys, what about you? No escuchaba de él. Hello. Hello, Demi. The incognito. Hiding. Uh, the, the first, my strengths are the experience I have using my work, my workplace program. For example, I make boy bills when mistake reading. I complete for no your client. Because money louder in loud. Mm. Cool, I like it. So money laundry. Okay. Nice. Guys, okay. Uh, do you know the word money laundry? Don't. ¿Han escuchado la palabra? Yes, money laundry. La nueva política de las empresas. 
No. ¿De la, ¿Lavado de dinero? Like money laundry? Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. 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 Sir, yes. that is what yeah. Anna was talking about. Okay. Oh, yeah. nice. Pero no la va. <laughs> Consiste in, in, in complete the form and the, the dat, datos. Así se dice. Dat, right. Right. Today, yes. the client, de donde le provienen sus ingresos. Mm -hmm. Yes. Where the money comes from. Eh, Puede oh. decir data. La like Dara, Dara, ajá, o de ira, cualquiera de las dos. Sí. Dara o de ira. Okay. Ah, ok, teacher, sí. Dara. Uh -huh. Dara o de ira. It's cool. Ok. Yes. Yes, teacher. Um, um, every client, uh, a todos los clientes se les está pasando su forma. Yes, I know. It's very problematic, I have to say. Very <laughs> problematic. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I, I think it's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They ask Una you. Pregunta bien the, personal. The, the, the pet. Personal. Ask where. Very personal. Question, perdón. Yes. Question. Question. Yeah, no, but you're right, you're right. It's too personal. Um, but also um, in the bank, so when you go to the bank, le piden mm -hmm. hasta del, si, le, si vendió algo, you know, de dónde sacó yes. el prójimo el dinero. Mm -hmm. yes. so, yeah. I think it's too much. Over one thousand dollars. Yeah. Ay, yes. si no lo demuestra, tiene problemas. I know. I know. It's. It, I think it's very complicated. It's very compli complicated. complicated. Yeah, I agree. I definitely agree with you. Okay. La cama. La cama. Guardar en la cama. Oh, pensé que iba a decir algo en la cama. I don't know. You were talking about money laundry, banks. I'm sorry. Money. No bad. Money. Uh -huh. Money. I got confused. I thought I was like paying too much attention, I think. I was like, la cama Ahí guarda el dinero. Yeah, yeah. So we still save money there. Brenda me a ver que ya llegó a su casa. I'm happy to see your home. So you're safe and sound already. Okay, guys. Oh my God. Yes, Hora. It's Not about true. time. Vamos a regresar yes. in a bit. Nice talking to you. That was really cool. There we go. Hi, guys. And thanks a lot for coming back. Um, I, I was like having a really good time listening to you and listening to your answers, which is very, very nice. Now, listen up. Um, so, tenemos dos preguntas en estas dos sesiones. For, from yesterday, tenemos, uh, tell me about your abilities. For today, what do you bring to the company? Why should we hire you, right? So, que nos convencen de qué es lo que ustedes le aportan. Me faltan algunos compañeros. Wait a second. Ya van a regresar. They are coming in a bit. Okay, so first, ¿cómo se sienten con estas respuestas? How do you feel with the questions? ¿Están difíciles de responder? Is it a little hard? Not too much? How do you feel so far with them? ¿Todo bien? Are we good? Do you have any question? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta con ellas? Do you have any question with them? ¿La sienten como complicaditas? No, not much. No, no, miss. Oh, no, no. A little. A little. Well, cre cre derrame. <laughs> no, creería que lo, lo, lo complicado viene que seas el momento de intentar explicar algo, right? To try to explain, to try to give my opinion, to try to... Pero eso lo vamos a lograr con la práctica. So, entre más um, organicemos nuestras respuestas, they will come easier later. So, tengo una tarea para ustedes para el día lunes. No mm -hmm. les voy a pedir que escriban anything, 
pero si es una de las preguntas más difíciles I have to say in a job interview, right? So, um, the question is the following. So, ya tenemos dos preguntitas, pero esta se la voy a dejar ahora porque necesito que, que como lo piensen, right? That you think about it. Eh, se ve fácil, pero no lo es. Okay. So, and I'm telling you because, I'm telling you because, eh, esta pregunta me la hicieron hace poco, and I was like, oh my God, this is really difficult to answer. Okay. So, the question is, no es ni siquiera una pregunta, tell me about yourself. In Spanish, le dicen, ¿Quién es Guadalupe? <laughs> ¿Quién es? Yes. Ok. Uh -huh. Y usted empieza a tener una duda existencial. Dios santo, ¿quién soy yo? All right. So, and you start like, thinking about it. Guys, ¿alguien trabaja con recursos humanos? Do you work with human resources? ¿Pedrina? Yes, teacher. ¿Verdad que sí? Sí. ¿Cuál do you do, Pedrina? ¿Es reclutadora? Yes. Uh, no, hombre, no, Pedrina, no. usted nos va a dar las claves en el año. Tiene que ver de Tips Más on future. Monday. Ok. Uh, también Guadalupe, creo. Ah, no, Brenda también. No, Guadalupe, no. Brenda es Brenda ahora. No, Brenda es a manager. Brenda, eh, are you from Human Resources? Yes. But are you a recruiter? Yes, teacher. Es en el área de contrataciones. Are you in the... Sí. Uh. ¿Cómo se dice la palabra multi... Sí, multiuso. <laughs> el comodín, <laughs> you mean. Ah, <laughs> uh, ok. Pero, pero sí está como... Because I remember, usted estaba en management. Sí, yes, también. Ok, so es como todo lo que caiga. So, management, security, security, human, security. <laughs> security, human resources, ok, wow, I got two. ¿Quién más está con eh, eh, Sonia? Eh, Mabel, are you in, in recruitment? Um, no directamente, como digo. No directly. O sea. Para contratar para el área de operaciones, primero hacen las eh, como la selección, primero el anuncio, recursos humanos, filtra currículum, uh -huh. eh, entrevista, la, bueno, hace la entrevista inicial y los que le parece, entonces me los pasa a mí. O depende si, va, si es para supervisores uh -huh. o team leaders, eh, si me los pasa a mí, si es para personal operativo, a los supervisores y luego a mí. Wait a second, <laughs> because me mencionó team leaders, supervisors, está como en un outsourcing. No, yo estoy en una empresa de servicios, pero soy eh, de la gerente de operaciones. Y entonces abajo tengo supervisores, eh, subgerentes, supervisores, team leader y personal operativo. Oh, got it, got it. Es un grupo grande. Pero hay como un filtro antes de ustedes. So there is a filter. La parte de recursos humanos, sí. de acuerdo al perfil, llama, uh -huh. de, descartan los currículums, uh -huh. hacen algunas entrevistas y ya los que ellos filtran, que se peguen al perfil, llevan con los usted. Que me pasan. Mm, got it, got it, got si it. dependen de mí directo, a mí de una vez, y van a eh, depender de, lo, de un sugerente o un supervisor, primero ahí se lo oigo. Nice, well, that sounds definitely interesting. ¿Alguien más está en el área de contrataciones, guys, o solamente como en, en management, recruitment? No vería el son, by Iris. Perfect. Guys, ustedes nos van, a, nos van a dar los tips on Monday. <laughs> so you're going to tell us about it, porque nos falta bastante. Y el lunes hablamos de experiencia. So el lunes vamos a aprender cómo hablar de toda su experiencia laboral, eh, cómo indicar el tiempo que tienen trabajando, you know, cómo explico todo este mm -hmm. tiempo. So, uh, first, les tengo esta tarea pequeñita. Tell me about yourself. Les voy a compartir un video later de um, como algunas ideas de qué es lo que debemos de incluir en esta pregunta, right? Eh, because no es como, eh, pues, tengo 19 años, <laughs> tengo 20, sino que hay detalles yeah. específicos que es necesario que mencionemos. I'm going to no, share them with you. Y los compañeros, bueno, las compañeras, you know, eh, si nos quieren compartir un par de tips más en WhatsApp, 
sería súper genial. That would be amazing. Y así pues también vamos creando nuestra respuesta. Tell me about yourself. So, no les pido que lo escriban, pero si, si se siente la necesidad de, háganlo, write it, pero practíquenlo, please. Practice, repítanselo, you know. No es de memorizarlo, solo es de repetirlo hasta que les salga eh, como muy claro, un poco más fluido, sí, right? Sí. So that is going to be your homework for Monday. Guys, solamente tomo, lo siento, ya les robé el tiempo. <risa> solo les, les tomo asistencia súper rapidito. Me regalan confirmación, porfa, que estaban acá. I'm going to take attendance de los que me hacían falta. So I'm missing eh, Dolores. Me regala confirmación. Gracias, Dolores. Thank you so much. Present. Gracias. Eduardo. Por ahí veo Eduardo. Gracias, Eduardo. Eh, Marvin Bonilla. Alex. Thank you. Thank you so much. Nelson. Creo que viene en este momento. Mabel. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. So, please avancemos con la plataforma. Complete the exercises in your platform. Y nos vemos el día lunes. Que descansen en rest a lot. Eh, Brian, si tiene unos minutitos, me los regala, please. Ya les compartí las sesiones one-on-one, on one, por cierto. Para la próxima semana. Okay. sorteado ahora. Sí. <laughs> Wait, no, but yes. See you guys. <laughs> See Very you much. Monday. Let's go, Let's go yeah. Hey, See ¿cómo estamos, Danis? Relax. Gusto de verte de nuevo. Uh, thank you. Me too. Nos vemos. Un ron serio. Bye, guys. Bye -bye. Yes. bye, bye. Have a nice one. Good night. Bye, bye. Have a nice weekend. Enjoy it, guys. Give me what, just a second um, because. Ah, sí, está. Okay. Okay, Brent. So, thank <laughs> you so much. Como, la, como, como el dicho que dicen las cabritas, más perdidos que las cabritas de Heidi. Con, uh, y son cosas que ya realmente hemos visto, el Wood y el Cool. Eh, oh, con estos temas, yeah. with this topic. Ok, I see, I see. Si quiere revisémoslo. So, if you want, okay, if you feel eh, more comfortable, let's creo, check it bueno, out. Ayer, ayer que no estuve, no sé, creo, no sé si en qué les había dejado, creo que estaban como practicando algo que ya tenían, pero no. no sé. uh, yes, 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 yes. Well, yesterday uh, revisamos un poquito. Le voy a compartir mi presentación. Deme un segundito solamente. Let me let, just put it out. Um, yesterday, eh, esta unidad, pretty much, eh, se trata como de de entrevista de trabajo, right? Y hablar de nosotros, de nuestra experiencia, things like those. El día de ayer vimos um, cómo hablar de nuestras habilidades, de lo que usted puede hacer. So, la tarea era con respecto a eso, que no hablara o nos contara sus habilidades. So, le voy a presentar para que más o menos yo diera una idea. Okay. okay, there we go. So, for example, estábamos practicando esta conversación en the, the person, la persona acá decía, um, here, what qualifications do you have for this job? Como cuando usted va, usted aplica a otro empleo no, como, okay. y le piden, right? ¿Qué puede hacer? <laughs> what mm -hmm. can you do? Y no ¿Cuáles son sus habilidades? Uh -huh, exactly. Para ese trabajo, yeah. mm -hmm, That is correct. La pregunta puede ser, what qualifications do you have for the job? What can you do? What are your abilities? Y todo se resume lo mismo. Okay. So, normally for abilities, utilizamos can, right? Uh, the person says here, I can speak English, I can manage small and big projects, I am very good at sales. ¿Qué serían so, las habilidades? Y eso que dice, uh, very good at sales, ¿qué se refiere como? Oh, very good. I'm oh. very good at sales. Como Vendelo, soy muy como bueno, exacto, vendiendo. que soy buena en, en las ventas. Uh -huh. ah. So, que soy un buen vendedor. Probablemente esta persona puede ser un manager o trabaja en, en el departamento de eventos, right? Then the other person is asking, what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? Como spreadsheet es como en, en Excel, right? So if you go to Excel, están como las hojas. Eso, oh. Esos son spreadsheets. Mm -hmm. So the person here says, 
como las I, hojas de cálculo. Digamos. Las hojas de cálculo, correcto. So, can you use spreadsheets? Y la persona le dice, um, I cannot use spreadsheets, but I am a fast learner. Entonces, ya se movió de las habilidades a hablar un poquito de las fortalezas de esta persona, que es I am a fast learner. So, la pregunta uno es, what are your qualifications? What are your abilities? Pero también practicamos esta segunda pregunta que es, um, acá, la de arriba. What are your abilities or strengths? Creería que estaban practicando esta parte de strength, que era algo que ya llevaban elaborado. So, sí, strength. Está, le voy a tomar una captura. Mm -hmm. Sure. Ya le voy a compartir lo último porque es como el vocabulario que vimos también. So, okay. strength. Son las fortalezas. Normally, cuando hablamos de fortalezas, we are talking about puntos clave, right? Cosas positivas de nuestra personalidad. Sometimes, a mí me han preguntado, dígame tres cosas positivas. Tell me three positive things about you. Algunas veces es más directa. Dígame sus fortalezas. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your strength. So, estas son parte de las strengths, ya. Yeah? Por ejemplo, el detail oriente, alguien que es bien meticuloso. I don't know, are you detail oriente? Es como bien, bien meticuloso cuando hace reportes, check ah, numbers, yeah, yeah, yeah. coma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, really? Como, o sea, como, lo hace como. Como eh, perfeccionista. Detallista, no sé. Correcto, detallista, detallista, detallista perfeccionista, meticuloso. Ok. Wow. <ríe> ok. <ríe> Me asustó. <ríe> Oh, poor, poor little dog. <laughs> It just scared the hell out of me. <laughs> y le hace caso. Sí, sí. Tienen miedo por eso. <laughs> <Me entiendo>. No. <laughs> ok. So, eso es como parte de las strengths, right? Detail oriented, collaborative, committed, uh, que es comprometido. So, yesterday, algunos compañeros, uh, ok. Algunos compañeros le pedí que hicieran como un compromiso personal, que de aprenderse dos palabras, tres palabras, you know, o mm -hmm. verbos, por ejemplo, durante todo el módulo, pero que lo hicieran así, de forma religiosa. So, eso es con, mire, un comprometido mm -hmm. con algo. You have creative, determined, etc. Mm -hmm. eh, empathetic, flexible, innovative, patient, respectful. No están todas, pero son como algunos puntos que son como los puntos más fuertes about your personality. So, if I ask her, hey, Brian, what are your strengths? So, ¿cuáles son sus fortalezas? What are your strengths? What are three positive, um, you know, points of your personality? I don't know. I think I am attentive, mm -hmm. collaborative, and creative, mm -hmm. and flexible. Oh, okay. Very and good. Empathic. Uh, empathetic. Oh, so you're very empathetic. Empathetic. Okay, now, ahora de estas mismas strengths, explíquemelas un poquito. Give me a little bit of explanation. For example, si yo digo creative, oh, I am a very creative person. I like painting. I like drawing. I, I, I cannot draw very well. Y podemos mezclarlo incluso con el que I can uh, do things with my hands. I can cook hair. Oh, okay. Okay. In different styles. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Medio mochado. No. <laughs> yeah, no. Sí, no. Sí, no. Okay. No, exactly, exactly. What about, uh, ¿qué más me dijo? In empathetic, you told me? Empathetic. Explain a little bit this part to me, please. Uh, because I don't know, I I like it, enjoy with the other person. Mm -hmm. uh, I I like the respect, the opinion. Oh, nice, exactly. Entonces esa es la parte de strength. So decimos el adjetivo, pero también podemos agregar un poquito, un poquito más, right? más. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So para que no sea tan como cava la respuesta. <laughs> so you can definitely Ahora, give a little sí, bit. Tenía una duda entre yo sé que ya casi wow y cool. Yo sé que utilicen como esa estructura es would be y could be. Cuando estaban haciendo lo de eh, would be great, como. This part. Esa es la estructura. Yeah. So this is the one. 
Um, normally we use would and could para hablar de cosas que no, um, no están pasando, pero podrían, you know? It says here possibilities in the future, cosas ah. que podrían pasar, right? Um, si le pregunto, por ejemplo, uh, could be. Eh, no sé si he escuchado como it could be, solo esa expresión, podría ser, it could be. Ok, es porque no es algo real, pero es como una posibilidad. La pregunta acá era bastante relacionada con usted qué le va a aportar a mi empresa. So you come and you say, for example, I would be a great asset. Yo sería. So I would be, right? Eh, or, for example, imagínese que usted está aplicando a manager. So, um, ¿cómo se vendería? ¿Qué, qué le aportaría usted a la empresa? <laughs> Difficult question, I guess. I will be the... Um, Puede ser como yo estaría, eh, yo sería responsable de las operaciones, por ejemplo. So I would be responsible for the operations. Mm -hmm. Yo sería un motivador. I would be a motivator to my coworkers. Entonces, esa es la parte. No es que lo haga, sino que yo lo haría. Estamos hablando de una posibilidad. Una, una posibilidad. Futuro, una suposición, ¿no? digamos, a una hipótesis. Pero no es del todo certero. O sea, no, puede, puede ser o no puede pasar. Podría Exacto. No, pasar. no, es como cuando usted dice, podría ser. You know, yo podría, pero no, no es que sea. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, so that is the idea. Yeah, Normally, yeah, yeah. se utilizan bastante similar. So, would es yo, yo haría. And could, yo podría, right? Son bastante similares. So, okay. there is not like a big difference. Mm -hmm. Perfecto. Un poco mejor, a little better. Sí, sí, claro, claro, sin great. duda. Great, great, great. Entonces, eh, with these guys, what we agreed yesterday, es que todos los días vamos a tener como una actividad extra o una tarea extra, pero speaking, right? A speaking activity para que terminemos de, de los temas de básico que ya se queden un poco mejor. Y pues ya están listos para intermediate. <ríe> y vayan a hablar con difícil. todos los powers. Uh -huh. So pretty much okay. that is the idea. Usted so, intermedio también. Sí. Dígame. Usted da intermedio también. Pues normally doy todos, pero por lo general hay una rotación. So it's very common. De hecho, hasta raro me parece que no haya habido rotación. <ríe> so es bastante saludable. Gracias, señor. Gracias, señor. <ríe> Just kidding. All right. So, bueno, um, no le robo más tiempo. I know you're busy. Gracias por el tiempo y nos vemos el lunes. See you on Monday. See you Monday. Cuídense.